Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me today on Otter HB. Today, Janine and I are gonna do a campground review at Prado Campground, which is located San Bernardino County. It's Prado Regional Park. It's on Euclid in Chino, California. Regional Park has a nice lake. I was out fishing this morning. Campground has, I think, 80 sites. It's a really pretty campground. Come join me. Let's go take a walk. I'll show it to you. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to Otter HB, please subscribe to Otter HB. If you enjoy the show, give me a thumbs up for that like. It really does help the channel. Thank you. Let's go take a look. So we're going to take a walk, show you around the campground. We have the dogs, so they'll be pulling us all the way. Good morning. So like I said, I think we have right at about 80 sites. And you see a little bit of everything from tents to our trailers to super huge motorhomes. It looks like all sites have hookups. So your full water, electric, and sewage, which was a, a really nice surprise it for us. Right, Janine? It was a great surprise because it happens to be about 95. Uh, we got a little heat wave this weekend while we're here. Still loving it. A gorgeous sunset last night. Very cool in the evening. So that was nice. But hookups in the day, I give that a thumbs up. There's no store here, so if you want it, bring it. And there's nothing even real close, so no ice. So make sure you bring it. Yep. Pack it in. But look at the sites. Most of the sites are paved, level, for the most part. There are back in sites and pull through, and just as big as you got they take it looks like trees they have trees so depending on time of day is whether you get shade or not hey, Dave. but it's all good ahead. so it looks like the way it's designed is there's two loops but they kind of do these s turns around to make it even bigger the back row sites are kind of nice because there's just nothing behind you. Mm -hmm. I love, we're in the back row and staring out our back window, I was able to see horses go by last night. It was really cool. So when you're booking, you're going to San Bernardino County Regional Park. I got kind of lucky. I booked it like a month in advance. I'm not sure what the time frame is, so you need to look at that. Like everything right now, weekends are pretty full. So I've already been out fishing this morning. So there's things to do. I see people out riding bikes around here. There's fishing. I'll show you the lake. You can have it's a, a park. It's just, it's big. You can kayak on the lake. It said you can kayak and have small electric boats on the lake. I seen paddle boards out there this morning too. Oh, that's fun. Nice clean bathroom, so they have bathrooms. <laughs> With showers, so if you're in a tent, you still have somewhere to be comfortable. As you drive in, the first loop is one through 50. That's what we've been walking around and that's where we're staying. The second loop is 51 through, I think 80. But looking at these sites. They're all paved. The, the uh, fire pit's paved and the picnic table. So it's great for handicap, but it also, if you're trying to cut down on the dirt. It's actually very nice. And a pull through too. But welcome to these sites, it's, there are certain campgrounds you go to and you're just one on top of the other. This is not that. They are spaced out really well. You have room. I like this one. You have room between the sites and definitely trees. So it's a nice thing is a lot of these have shades different part of the days. 
good shade level nice spot it's amazing if you look over here look at the openness of what's around you could like this site 63 that if you come in that's what you would be facing you would just see nobody i like that oh holly would <clears> see <throat> the chipmunks i see a lot of little squirrels and chipmunks Everything you have would just be open to that area, which is pretty cool. It looks like you just have the world to yourself. Lots of big family groups here, which is nice. All pack camped up together, having fun. But since there's so much room, you can do that. Have a huge family group. Exactly. It's definitely horse country. But when I say you see small, you see yeah. tents to big fifth wheels and motorhomes. Yeah, this is awesome. Great park. I could see this in February green grass. Holly's just pulling me along. I will tell you, come probably February, January, February, you'd have decent trout fishing. You'd have green grass because everything's green. So it all comes down to what time of year do you come and... But as I always say, there's never a bad time because anytime you got the trailer out or the motorhome out or the tents out, you're having a good day. Turns out heat and nothing really kind of matters. Here's another one of those sites, Site 71. Look at that. You just have trees like and trees. open fields. Okay, I'm going to look at 71. I like that view. Okay, the sun rose that way. They're going to have shade this evening here. I'm going to write that number down. So like I said, two different loops. First loop is 1 through 50. Second loop is 51 through that 80. That loop's pretty interesting concrete around the fire pits a lot of them are pull through sites still full hookups and spaced out really pretty far apart so it was pretty interesting look at it from this angle look at all the trees and the way they're nestled in there nope. so here's the nice part we see campground right over there then we turn around and we look and the lake's right there. So it's nice and close. It's not like you've got to walk miles and miles to get to the lake. There's fishing and playing, there's... Oh, it's nice and close. I can attest to that. You can bebop back and forth. It's awesome though if you look at the sites they're just huge so you know if you're bringing your friends and your family it's just amazing sites and God's the room to do it in But you see this side, one through 50, everything on the sides of the campground is just dirt versus the round pavement over there. Just interesting how they did it different. Yeah. I've seen a fair share of everything here. One of the things I love seeing is just cars with tents. What a great way to do it. Yeah. The only problem is you married the wrong person because <laughs> I'm a trailer girl. So there you go. Prado Campground. Prado Regional Park, Chino, California. What a great campground. Two different loops. Both of them are very, very different. Very, very distinctive. Nice, big, roomy campgrounds. It's been fun. So if you get a chance, book it. 
If you haven't already, subscribe to Otter HB. Make sure to subscribe to Otter HB. Give me that thumbs up for the like. It's been fun. We'll see you on the next one. Okay, so we're here. Oops, let me fix the gate. Okay, so we're here at Prado Regional Park in June. And a lot of people said, oh, you can't go camping this weekend. There's a heat wave. They were right. There is a heat wave going on. So one of the bonuses to Prado is it does have full hookups. So in the middle of the day, you can just batten it up and turn your air on for a little bit. So here you can do this. Got the door closed, the air running. The, we got great shade from this tree. So that is helping a lot to beat the heat. I can't have the dogs out in the middle of the day on this hot um, cement, on this hot gravel actually, because it gets really hot on their little feet. So we have them inside. Maybe I use them as an excuse <laughs> to say that we can't go on a walk right now, it's too hot. But um, we met some people here who are very smart and they have a mister going on. So I'm just gonna show your mister real quick. He said he got it at Lowe's. Did I hear him say like 30 bucks or something? Okay, so we are in awe of the smartness. Can you say hello? Hello. And just enjoying it. So she is beating the heat with a mister and under the shade. So smart way. I stayed inside for the last two hours, but I'm ready to get out now. So thank you. All right. So I got the dogs locked inside because it's too hot for them. And we're going to just go take a walk down to the lake and see what we see. A lot's going on on a Saturday. People are out doing and enjoying and having a great time. Let's see what we got going on here. There's the lake right down there. So really not a bad, we're one of the furthest sites from the lake, but it's great. I can feel a nice little breeze coming off the lake. I, and people are having a nice afternoon. As you pull in, you're way over here and you're coming through the regular day use campground, which is obviously in high, wait, start that again, which obviously is well loved.